Hey, do you have anything before? I, I need to go get myself um, some type of uh, treat. Does it say that in the bill? Does it say that in the bill? I'm asking you to tell me what's in the bill because you are pushing false narratives. It doesn't matter what critics say. For who? For, for grades pre-K through three. So five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds. And um, the idea that you wouldn't be honest about that and tell people what it actually says, it's why people don't trust people like you because you peddle false narratives. And so we disabuse you of those narratives. And we're going to make sure that parents are able to send their kid to kindergarten without having some of this stuff injected into their school curriculum. Can we also ask about the Surgeon General recommendations sure. this morning? Sure. So basically, Florida first state to go against what the CDC is saying and recommend against the COVID-19 vaccine for children that are healthy. Talk to me a little bit about that, why that recommendation today. Sure. So we did a roundtable with some eminent scientists and medical researchers, and the data that's coming in on this is showing for healthy kids uh, very little benefit in terms of what the vaccine is doing, and that's weighed against the fact that they're at very, very low risk. If you look at uh, teenage boys between 13 and 18, there's been an increased uh, signal for things like myocarditis. There's other things that people are, uh, are trying to come to grips with. There's going to be a lot more research done. Um, but, you know, one of the studies that was looked at to approve the Pfizer vaccine for, for young people found no hospitalization and death in the vaccine arm, which is good. But they found no hospitalization and death in the placebo arm either. And so they're very low risk for this. We, of course, oppose mandates in terms of, uh, of this and have barred mandates in Florida. But, you know, I've had a lot of parents come and ask just saying, hey, is this something I should do? You know, i got a five-year-old, i got a six-year-old. And it's their choice. They can do what they want. Uh, but I think what Florida's uh, guidance uh, reflects is the latest research on all of this. And, you know, CDC, with all due respect, you know, they have not followed the science throughout all this. They've done a lot of political science. They, they are stopping. They, they've changed the guidance in, like, the last week or two with no change in underlying data. They just did it more for political purposes. And so uh, I would uh, – we, we are not just going to follow the CDC in the state of Florida. I think a lot of people have lost confidence in the CDC, uh, and I think that's a huge majority of Americans that have lost confidence. So it doesn't mean because they say it we won't do it. We're going to do it on our own, but clearly the fact that they say to do it is not going to be enough. We're going to do our own stuff. And so I think the Surgeon General was um, really concerned just that this was something that was being pushed on people. Um, and you, should, you have your right to make your own decision for your kids, and we're not going to interfere in that in any respects. But weighing the costs and benefit, a lot of virtually every one of those experts we had today said probably didn't make sense, and I think that's probably um, uh, the, the right way to view it.